Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video we are going to create an integration between monday.com and Google Calendar. The reason why I want to do it again uh, is that uh, Zapier, the tool that we are using to make this integration happen, went through some kind of facelift so there is a chance for you to get lost somewhere in the process but don't worry I'm here to help you on top left corner is an option for you to create a Zap obviously first of all you have to log in or create account at zapier.com so once we do that and once once we do the necessary thing we want to create the Zap we hit the create Zap, Zap option on top left corner of your screen now we can still name our our integration I'm gonna go with Monday calendar for example we hit enter and we see that we are straight away working on Monday calendar so integration has a name and if you need to come back to it you'll be able to so this is basically the same process as it was before but it's a little bit more flashy and easier to read also we have this option on the right corner but we can ignore them for now so app event will be monday.com the event there's a six uh, to choose from we are going with the last one the new user but you should go with the one that uh, suits you the most we hit continue and then we have to log in into the account that we are using or the workspace that we are working in we hit continue and the last thing in the first steps we need to test the trigger between monday and zapier.com it's really easy one it will just check if uh, monday can can send the zapier the information that zapier needs to make this integration happen on the second one is obviously the action on this side we need to write down calendar and we see we have a google calendar right there yet again we have to pick an event for example if new user in monday.com appears it will create a calendar so you can for example write down the tasks and now we have to log in into our google calendar option we hit continue set up an action uh, let's go with like this and hit continue send calendar to google calendar and we can test the uh, the whole thing if it works so it's testing and a calendar was sent to google uh, about zero seconds yep and that's about it so the only thing why I can't publish the zap yet is because we need to test the trigger first. And that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Have a great day and goodbye.